I'm not really sure what's going on. I almost wrecked my Mini 2 today due to some unforeseen issues while working on a video for you guys. Has the Mini 2 turned into a lemon? Welcome to another video, I'm Henrik Olsen and if you want to learn how to make better videos with your camera and drone in general, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. I was out Sunday working on a video for you guys about photo stacking, which is a super exciting approach where you can expand the functionality of the Mini 2 by taking several pictures and merging them together in a third party software like Lightroom. You can make images like this that has a much wider focal length than the native focal length of the drone. And the technique is very similar. Just before we get to the issue that I ran into, I'll just show you um, what this is all about. The way that this works is that I combine different frames into a single photo. And to make it even better because of the limited dynamic range of the Mini 2, I have used the AEB function to get the maximum dynamic range by under and over exposing the image. I can combine all of these into a HDR panorama photo using Lightroom and get an end result like the one that I just showed you. This technique is generic and I will probably make a video about it. It will work for all the DJI drones that are out there and probably also for the non-DJI drones as you simply just need to stack up a ton of pictures and then let the Lightroom do the work for you. By the way, do you like my content? If you do, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. So I just took off like I would do in any other video, uh, trying to fly a little bit around and show you a little bit of the surroundings. I have decided to use Fredensborg Castle as many times before, because that's a walking distance uh, from uh, where I live. So um, while I was flying out there, I suddenly realized that I forgot to press the record button. And I really wanted to include some nice footage uh, for you guys in the video to show you the surroundings. It was a really, really beautiful uh, day. But uh, so I decided to turn around and fly back. And this is where something really, really odd happened. When I was around five meters from the takeoff position, I suddenly got weak signal and then lost connection. And the drone was completely unresponsive. It was hovering like three meters in the air and I couldn't do anything. There was no camera feed. There was no response, whatever. So I was getting a little bit nervous because I heard a car approaching. And you know, when you see on the display, uh, the warning message that RC not connected, you know, there's a chance that the drone will try to auto descend at this point. And I didn't want this to descend into the car and the car was getting closer. And I was trying to pull out the, the cable uh, for the phone to see if I could re-establish the connection. And it actually passed below the drone while it was hovering in the air. And luckily it was not Landing. descending before the car has passed below the drone. Otherwise they would have collided. And you could say, okay, maybe not such a big deal for a 250 gram drone, but this was not a very fun experience. And it happened with the latest TGI Flyer 112 and also with the latest firmware. This was a super scary uh, situation because I completely lost control of the drone. It was not moving anywhere, so of course it, I could handle this. But um, getting into a situation where you sort of can't control what's going on is not a desired uh, situation. Is my Mini 2 a lemon? I don't know if it is, but I kind of uh, have sensed uh, multiple problems uh, after I've been upgrading uh, the software lately. I also had some issues uh, when I was recording the best gimbal and your settings video, where the gimbal was sort of acting all strange uh, when I landed the drone. This is not such a big issue, not compared to losing control of the drone while it's in air. Uh, that, that's a given. But it still seems there is some fundamental flaws of the Mini 2 that DJI needs to work on um, so we don't end up in unwanted situations like this. Have you seen something similar with the Mini 2? Let me know in the comment below. I got a few questions about the hoodie. Hoodie. Mr. Olsen from the hoodie. <laughs> In case you are interested in the merch that I've been doing here for the channel, then uh, I have included a link for that in the description below. By the way, did you see the video that I made about uh, the best gimbal and your settings uh, for your DJI Mini 2 if you're an Android user? In case you missed that video, you can access this through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. 
If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.